What's up guys, Matrix Panda here, also known as Lord Typhoon. So today, um, my friends were like, you're top, you're a pretty good and high ranked free for all player. You should make a tip video, slash guide video on it, some things to do in free for all. So today, that's free what we're doing. All. So, um, we're going to be starting Good off job. with our sensitivity. Wasted. So, sensitivity in this game is very it, per, good. I love it. So, you can have your own sensitivity and still be just fine and have people not bother you about it. Unless you aren't comfortable with that and you're terrible at that. Because in this game, you can choose not just your horizontal and vertical, whichever one, 6'5". I think it's vertical then horizontal, but yeah. And then so, then you have your aiming for your reflex, your holographic, your one, two, three, at magnification, Smoke and jet. then for, you have your 4x to your sniper scope for that. So I run 0.75 for my, um, ugh, hold on. Destroyed. For my aim sensitivity for reflex through 3x which is magnification it also changes your iron sight aiming too and then for s snipers and a cubs for, for 4x UAV i run um 1.25 to speed up aim since when you aim in a higher magnification weapons it slows them down so i like to speed it up a little bit so i can keep aim naturally so um Number two, your guns and attachments. So, number two, you're going to want to be able to have knowledge of what you're using and what's good for them and what their personal play style is. Because every gun you're going to use has to be made for your play style. So, like, um, the MX-9 for me is my go-to anchor gun and we'll talk about anchoring in a moment so don't worry about that shout out so and then i have a cordite which i just run around and play to people with most of the time so my the reason i like to use the nx9 is um it keeps good damage with medium fire rate. Cordite, on the other hand, you can throw a rapid fire on there in the, um, what's it called? In the belt fed operator mod, and you're just spraying bullets for days. All it comes down to your personal preference on close style. Um, but yeah. So, know the attachments and weapons you, I mean, weapons you use. So, number three is going to be perks. I personally like to run perks like the stuff that helped me out in the long game. Because in the long game, you're going to be um, lasting longer and running out of your side and running scavenger. Because... If you see me in my videos, I always start running low on ammo, and I never run out all the ever, because I always find a body with a scavenger bag on it, which gives you a clip of ammo. And for uh, my prick 2, I got dexterity, which is helping you um, mantle and reload and stuff like that, and speeds it up. And helps your aim in when you're jumping. So that's why you see me use my movement a lot more. Spectre, we'll get to that in a second. So, and then for my perk three, go silence. Because I don't want to be able to hear my footsteps. I want to hear the enemies. I want to be able to know where they are. Because I already know where I am. So that's the reason I run perk three on almost anything. People say you can take it out for, um, like, respawn things in the, um, League play stuff. I still keep it on. It's that helpful for me. So, which is why I always, you might see me pre-fire someone or the, f so, yeah. 
before your map knowledge. Always. Smoke checked. Always. Map knowledge is number one. Your aiming might be 40% of your gameplay, but map knowledge is important. Like, heavily important. If you don't have your map knowledge, you're... I don't know. You're doomed, basically, because you need to know the spawns. You need to know what the hot spots are of which map. You need to know good spots to anchor. You need to know what's the main area people will be spawning, depending on where you are and the rest of the players are. Because in free-for-all, a lot of people can be pretty predictable. And I mean, about 75% of the people you can predict easily. So, in doing that, I usually will anchor or with the MX-9 or if I feel like running a Cordite, we'll just spray them. So, yeah. Map knowledge, very important. So, number five is anchoring. So, now for the thing you keep hearing me say. So, anchoring is um when you basically play maps but like instead of like running around on it you'd like hunker a spot so like if all. you see me on militia the video i did I you saw me which it was out tonight yesterday you'll see me anchoring like sitting around the house where they have the basement and then they have the upper area because that's where wasted hold on Okay, got it. Okay, so you'll see me um, sitting in the Iced. in there a lot because you need to be able to know the spawns of it and be able to figure figure your area out. So, um, what I mean by that is like it gives you a spot of comfortability. So use that that that's like your turf basically on the map now. So. You call that your own spy. If anyone goes in there, 80% of the time you should be able to kill them. Not even joking. 80%. If not, threat removed. I have no idea what you're doing if you're anchoring, but you are doing terrible. Bringing deploy online. So yeah, anchoring is very important. So what's next? Mechanics. Okay. Drone squad awaiting orders. So your game mechanics are very important. So aiming and spraying. So you'll see me spray a lot. You'll see me just tap the aim and then reset to into spraying. Because in doing that, it fit resets the spray pattern. So that's pretty helpful. So I'll. Be aiming in at some inches, but know when you're meant to aim in and when you're meant to spray. That's a big thing that people don't get a lot of the time. So, um, your movement. So, learn the movement and what helps you at certain places when and what doesn't. So, I like to slide a lot and jump shot because I have dexterity on, which will help my jump shot accuracy a lot. It makes it decreases your jump shot. I mean, increases your jump shot accuracy by like 25% if I'm right. So that's very helpful. Battery and then kill. for more mechanics, like your character usage. So what operator you play. I personally like to run Seraph or Prophet. They um, are both pretty helpful characters in by. team play. But in this game, in free for all, Prophet is just like the god character it, since you can have, um, what's it called? The Seeker drone dude, and then the, um, his shock weapon. That's a very important thing in the game. And then for Seraph, it, for when you're anchoring, you have this spawn to play. So you can just put it in your anchor area and you can Another spawn there most wanting. of the time or spawn right next to it. And for her, um, ultimate, she has a pistol, which I love, because it shows who has true aim in this game, because there's no aim assist on it. 
So all the shots you'll see with that are pure aim skills. Or luck of someone that doesn't know how to play against weapons with the kills. But yes. So, and then your score streaks. No like, score streaks you are able to get. Because I see people running the gunship, but they're dying every other two kills, which is not what you want. So, yeah. Know your score streaks, for sure. And then, um... Number seven, know when to be aggressive and not to be. That's a big one. Cause, um, I see people over pushing a lot. I even catch myself doing it sometimes. It's not a good thing, good habit at all. That's what gets you killed in games. And I know, cause, I play, um, I used to go to tournaments for free for all stuff. Hold on a second. <laughs> He's so stupid. <laughs> Alright, sorry. And so, um, yeah. Free for all. Just no one to be aggressive and not to be. Don't push Work too much. Because that will get you killed. So, yeah, no one to be aggressive, play it safe, push when you want, it's up to you though, do what you feel comfortable with. Um, number eight, don't leave if you join in a late game, It'll, your stats won't be saved unless you win, trust me, your stats won't be saved. I join in a late game all the time and I do come back Enemy and end up dumb. winning usually most of the time. You'll see it in the third game, which is show playing right now. So, don't be afraid to stay in the game. At all. Because half the time, people are going to be missing shots or something, or they're just bored. Because games can last forever in this. Though, most of the games I see can last a full, like, 12 minutes. I think that's what it is, 12, 10, I don't know. And then, don't worry about getting your kills stolen from me, because that's with the don't be too aggressive, because if your kill gets stolen from you, you're still getting points for it. Don't worry about that. You're going to be getting points for it and assist for it. Plus, there's going to be people respawning near you somewhere. I'm sure you'll be able to get more kills and just pump out that win anyways. So, always have the win mentality. That's my biggest one for sure have that win mentality if you don't have that you're not gonna win because you always want to be ready to win winning is the reason people like to play games usually or just for fun which i get Okay, so, and then, um, so yeah, always have a win mentality, don't be worried Seraph about that if you don't have a win mentality, you're more than likely not going to win at all, because if you're like, oh, I can win this, you're just putting yourself in the dirt, got it? So, number 10, be willing to lose and learn, even with that win mentality, be willing to lose and learn from it. Like, honestly, that's such a big thing. Be willing to lose and learn, for sure, because in doing that, it shows that you're willing to be vulnerable and be ready for anything to happen. Because in losing, I actually learn quite a few things sometimes about what I'm doing wrong. So, yeah.
to it in a second, boys. Oh yeah, so... Always be right, willing to lose, even though you want that one mentality. Because yeah, there's definitely going to be someone out there that's better than you. One hundred percent of the time, I'm sure there is, because there's always people. So that's how you learn from them. You're gonna have to. And so that's it for today. Thank you for watching. I hope this helps a little bit with your game. If not, yeah, I'll be putting out more eventually on what to do and tricks like that. So yeah, thanks for coming. Hope you enjoyed. Peace. Drone squad mission timeline lapsed. Nomad kill. Smoke checked. Snipers, stone rifles, we're out of here. Crash dropped. Time's nearly up. Finish strong. Shut up.